Hello everyone. In this question, we need to draw a figure as described by the conditions given below. So it is given that the reflecting surface of two mirrors makes an angle of 90 degree with each other. And if on one surface of the mirror the angle of incidence is 30 degree, we need to draw the reflected ray from the second mirror and also we need to determine what would be its angle of reflection. First, we'll draw the figure as described. So, this will be our figure. Here we can see that this is one mirror and this is the second mirror. So, the first mirror is at 90 degree to the second mirror. So, if we see this green line is the normal of each of the mirrors. So, the incident ray is at an angle of 30 degree to the first mirror. So, this is our first mirror. This is our incident ray. So, it is at an angle of 30 degree. So, angle of incidence is the angle between incident ray and the normal. So, the angle between incident ray and the normal is 30 degree. This will be our angle of reflection as AC is our reflected ray. The ray reflection represented by the red color is the reflected ray from the first mirror. So, angle R1 is the reflected angle. Next, the ray represented by yellow color is the reflected ray from the second mirror and the ray reflected from the first mirror is incident on the second mirror. Hence, red ray is the incident ray of second mirror. So, this will be the angle of incidence for second mirror and this will be the angle of reflection for second mirror. So, let us assume R2 be the angle of reflection from the second mirror. So, from laws of reflection, we know that angle of incidence is equals to angle of reflection that would be equal to 30 degree. So, for first mirror that is angle of incidence is I1 and angle of reflection is R1. From the laws of reflection, angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. Hence, angle R1 will be 30 degree. So, we will mark that in the figure. R1 is 30 degree. If this angle is 30 degree, this whole angle is 90 degree as it is a normal. Normal is a perpendicular. So, this whole angle is 90 degree. This is 30 degree. So, this angle comes out to be 90 minus 30 that would be 60 degree. Now, if we see in triangle BAC, this is 90 and this is 60. So, from angle sum property, the sum of all the angles of a triangle is 180 degree. So, 90 plus 60 is 150 and 180 minus 150 would be this angle that would be equal to 30 degree. So, we will mark that it would be 30 degree. Now, this is 30 degree. This is normal. Hence, this angle will be 90 degree. And this is 30. So, I2 will be 90 minus 30. That would be 60 degree. And as we know from the laws of motion that angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. Same law would be followed for the second mirror. So, I2 would be equal to R2. So, R2 will be also 60 degree. So, we will write all this information that I have explained. In triangle ABC, angle BCA is equal to 180 minus 90 plus 60. That would be 30 degree as this angle will be 60. This is 90 by angle sum property. It would be 180 minus 90 plus 60. So, this is 30 degree. So, I2 would be 60 degree as this is a normal and this is 90 degree. This is 30. So, I2 would be 90 minus 30. That is 60 degree. Hence, R2 would be 60 degree. So, we will write our answer. The angle of reflection of incident ray is 60 degree. I hope you understood the explanation. Thank you.